Hey folks, I thought I would just show you how the game is going to end. Um, there's two ways for the game to end. One is if the wanted track while you're playing ever gets to 10, it'll trigger the shootout at the OK Corral. The other thing that can happen, and this is the game that I just happened now in the previous video, is the wanted track was at seven and I ran out of cards. So I've gone through the whole deck of cards. So this is part one. You can see they all have start deck on them. So there's 15 cards in this start deck. Once you've gone through it and you've not hit 10 yet, you'll grab the second deck of cards, which do not have start deck on it. And in this set of cards, you're gonna have a card that looks like this. It's gonna say gunfight at the OK Corral, and you're gonna shuffle it into the cards. So let's just pretend for argument's sake, it's 48 for the Cowboys, 35 for Wyatt Earp, and the wanted track is at eight. So if we were to play, and you just keep playing as normal. So the player for the Cowboys would have three cards. He'd pick where he's going to go. Wyatt would predict where they're going, and then the card would be revealed. Now, if the card that revealed is Casino, and Wyatt Earp chooses Casino, and the wanted track is at 8, 9, 10, that would also trigger the OK Corral fight. The other way to trigger it is if, after you've played your card, if the next card up is the gunfight at the OK Corral. So the game would stop at that point, and you would go to the gunfight at the OK Corral, and you can set them up the way they were in the back alley, or the way I've done it this time is just to shuffle the cowboys for both sides and lay them out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to decide who's going to start the gunfight. And as I mentioned, Wyatt Earp, you can see his temper is just a one. He just wanted to get the guns off McClory and Billy Clanton. But McClory and Billy Clanton wanted nothing, nothing of that. They had a long-standing feud. Even the week previously, I believe, Wyatt Earp had pistol whipped somebody, and so had Virgil. So these two groups of gentlemen were very, very uh, angry with each other, and it was it was about to explode. And so in order to play the gunfight, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to roll, and you're going to see who is actually going to start this gunfight. And they're all rated for temper, and... Um, I am just going to start with um, Tom McClory. So his temper is a one to two, and he's a four. So he doesn't start it, so we'll go over to Doc. Doc does not start it. Over to Billy Clanton. So Billy Clanton is a one to five. He is going to start the gunfight. So I'm going to put a marker on Virgil and a marker on Billy, because this is where we're going to start. So first things first, we're going to roll... For Billy Clanton, he's starting it, he's pulled out his gun, and he is a two or a 12 for a hit. So this is also the first round of the gunfight. So I'll put that down. And they're only gonna have four rounds. Four rounds should generate 28 shots. If you would like to add the extra uh, shots, you can. Uh, so Billy's going to shoot, and oh, he rolls a 12. So Billy's hit somebody. He didn't do it in real life, but because of the game element, you want to add some chance, he actually nailed somebody. So let's see who he hits. So we're going to check his target. His target is two, Wyatt Earp, and Wyatt never got hit, so chances are he won't be hit this time. And it's a two, so wounds on Wyatt, one to five is a miss. So Clanton came close. It was near him and maybe nicked him off the off the uh, outside of his coat, which I think actually happened. Wyatt got shot and uh, hit the outside of his coat. Uh, next one, um, Virgil's up, hit on five and six, and he misses. 
Ike Clanton. Now, Ike ran away from the brawl, so he's not going to shoot, but he's going to be included in the turns of people. Uh, next over will be Wyatt. Wyatt hits on two to five, and Wyatt's going to hit. So Wyatt has a hit. And let's see who he targets. He's targeting Billy Clinton. So Billy, sorry, Billy Clanton. Uh, Billy Clanton, he was only 19. He did get killed at the uh, corral, so he does get killed. Two to four. Now, he'll keep shooting and playing. The assumption is he got shot in the stomach. He's not dead yet. He's still going to get off his rounds. But because it's going to be a kill when we're finished, uh, that'll be five points for the Earps. So they're up to 40. So it's now 48-40. Um, next shooter is going to be Frank McClory. Now, when the shootout actually started, Wyatt Earp targeted Frank first because he knew Frank was the uh, best shooter of the group. So Billy actually shot at Wyatt, but Wyatt didn't fire back here. He went after the person with the best reputation as a sharpshooter, and that was Frank. So he shot at Frank. So you notice on Wyatt's uh, cards, he's a three to six shoot at McClory because half of his uh, shots were at Frank. So Frank's going to shoot two to six to 11, and Frank is going to hit somebody or a possible hit. So Frank rolls. He's going to target. He's going to target Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday is a six. Doc Holliday never got shot, and it's going to be a miss. So Frank doesn't get him. Uh, next one is Morgan. Morgan did very well at the gunfight, and that's a hit. And Morgan is shooting at number three, Billy Clinton. Clinton. Oh, I've got Clinton on here. i got to change that to Clinton. Um, and Billy is six, got it in the stomach. So that is going to be worth three for the Earps. So that is now 48-43. And we'll go over to Tom McClory. Tom's going to shoot. Rolls a six, and that is a miss. Doc Holliday is going to shoot. And it's a six. Doc Holliday hits somebody. Who does Doc hit? He's going to hit number four, Tom McClory. So he's hitting Tom, and it's a three, and Tom is killed. So Tom is going to get killed in this um, gunfight. So that will be five more for the Earps. It's now 48, 47. You can see... The Cowboys get a good lead, but this is where the Earps come back in the end of the game. Uh, next, run around two with Billy. So just to keep track of things, Tom has been killed. So has Billy Clanton. Um, so Billy's up next. Here we are in round two. He's still shooting. Uh, no, he does not hit anybody. Virgil, five and a six. Doesn't hit anybody. Ike Clanton doesn't shoot. Wyatt Earp, two to five, hits somebody. He rolls an eight. He doesn't. And Billy's dead. So I'm just going to turn him over. Probably can. Frank McClory, two to six and 11. He rolls a 10. Wyatt Earp, two to seven. And Wyatt gets another hit. Well, Wyatt is going to target Frank McClory. Oh, Wyatt's going to rack up the points here. And it's a kill. So Frank McClory is killed. So another five points for Morgan. One, two, three, four, five. They jump out to the lead at the end here. Um, next one. Uh, Frank will be the shooter. So he's not dead yet. He's going to get a shot off. Two to six to 11. And he's going to miss. Um, did I get these out of order? I think I did. Uh, we should be going over. So Frank is killed. Yeah, I think Frank shot twice for a mistake. Sorry about that. So the shooter should be Tom McClory. And Tom's going to shoot 2 to 5, 11. He misses. 4 to 6 for Doc Holliday. He misses. And we're on to round 3. My dog's after his ball. You can probably hear him in the background. Uh, I think these guys are all... Dead. Billy's going to shoot round three. He's not quite dead yet. And nope, not going to do it. Five or six for Virgil. Virgil gets a hit. And Virgil's going to target Billy Clanton. 
and it's going to be in the wrist. So three more points for the herps. Now, if somebody does get killed, you can't be killed twice. You won't get five points. You will get three. So he just gets hit. So anytime these guys get hit and it says kill, you only give three points, not the five for the kill. Uh, Ike Clanton, of course, doesn't shoot. Uh, Wyatt Earp, two to five on his hit, rolls a 12. Over to Frank. Two to six and 11 for Frank. He's going to miss. Morgan Earp, two to seven on the hit. And it's another hit by Morgan Earp. During the corral shooting, I think he had three of his five bullets hit somebody. And here he's three for three. Uh, he is going to target Billy Clanton. And Billy Clanton is. Okay, he's already killed, so it'll be three points for the Earps. Looks like the Earps are going to win this game. Um, over the other side to Tom. Tom McClory, 2-5 to five to 11, and he misses. Doc Holliday, 4-6, to six, misses. Billy Clanton's going to shoot. This is the last round. We'll get 30 shots in. 2-12 uh, to 12 for Billy. No, close. Uh, five or six for Virgil. No, he misses. Ike Clanton doesn't shoot. Wyatt Earp, two to five. And Wyatt gets a hit. Wyatt is targeting number one, Billy Clanton. And it's a five. He gets him in the wrist where he actually did get hit during the crowd. One, two, three. Um, next one, go over to Frank McClory. Two to six to 11. And Frank hits somebody. Who does Frank hit? He is going to hit Morgan Earp. And Morgan gets it in the shoulder. So one, two, three for the Cowboys. Uh, next, go over to Morgan's going to shoot. Two to seven for a hit. And it's a hit on a six. So he hit all four times. And he is targeting Billy Clanton. And Billy Clanton is not going to be killed. It'll be three points for the Earps. Um... Tom McClory's going to shoot. 2 to 5 to 11. It's an 8. Doc Holliday, 4 to 6. Doc Holliday is going to hit somebody. Doc is going to hit number 4, Tom McClory. And that's three more. So that's how this one would end. 67 51 for the Herbs. You can see they made a big comeback. That's why you want the Cowboys to have a quite a big lead. Um, going into the, the shootout of the OK Corral. Again, they're all rated statistically for how they shot. Um, and who they targeted should be statistically correct. Of course, the wounds we sort of took liberties with, and you have to make it a game. So um, some of the people here, um, Wyatt never did get hit, but he will get shot in the arm, and Doc Holliday... He grazed his gun belt, but we're going to count a hit on a one just to add a little bit. Of, so it's not just you can't shoot at Wyatt and Doc. There should be some chance for points for those guys. So that is how the shootout goes. You would do up the total points. And in this particular instance, the Earps won. And I think it works out about 50-50. This is the fifth time I played. And uh, what do I have here? Yeah, I've got the Earps winning three times and the Clantons twice. So one of the strategies for the Clantons is when you start to get high on the wanted track is to try and lay low. If you lay low, if you have those cards, it allows you to take uh, one off the wanted track to move it back and try not to push your luck getting it up to 10. So you want to get a big lead the, the, the big strategy in the game is can you guess where they go? It makes a big boost for uh, the Earps. I played some games where the Earps never found them at all. And um, the Cowboys won where the Earps were successful four or five times. It really helps them win the game. So that is a shootout OK Corral. And that's how the game plays out. Talk to you later, folks.